Now the main way of understanding this structure, the energy structure of the superpixel, this structure, is the, in the flow of energy, the flow of the dark energy. Now remember, the originally the dark energy flows into the point and it sees that point as light. So the dark energy is the precursor of light. But that dark energy flows into us as sensory experience and then out of us um, as personality. So w we have the group, the interconnectedness of everything. You know, the interconnectedness, say for a counselor, the interconnected, you know, behavioral events, etc., the, the, the educational, the interconnectedness of that lesson with the rest of the course, rest of the world. And then here we have the, the, the here we have the, the the conscience and the perfectionist. We move in a straight line. We can understand the conscience of when we don't follow a straight line. And then we have the personality of a perfectionist. So the conscience is our consciousness of seeing the, the future movement. Remember, there's the point. Here we is the speed, the velocity center. We're seeing all these different objects moving, which we are computing so there's many different objects moving and we can see their future course and so we can control the smoothness of our own movement and, and this is about perfectionism moving and driving you know controlling speed perfectly then we have the intuition the intuition that can see behind read the face and become empathic, you know, mirror, see behind the face, mirror, and then become empathic, be able to read and cooperate here, become an equal. Here we have, the, remember this is a point that moves on a screen. Now, when that point moves, it creates the idea of fluid space, and that fluid, we, or oh, that space we sense as fluid space we sense as water and we judge where we are in that in that space by smell so we're in the paint shop we're in the kitchen we're in the bathroom you know we're at school we're in the hospital all these places are identified by the smell and so we become sensitive to smell and diplomatic so we can smell fear we can you know keep the peace this is our home territory we can balance out all those smells, deal with smells, and be diplomatic at different levels. This remember, this is smell, the flow of water. Now, in the body, that flow of water is the, through the kidneys in its purification, and then it's expelled in the bladder. Then this is space. Then we have time. Now, time, that wave here, the movement creates the wave and that wave endures creates sound and that sound gives us hearing sound and this is the audio channel remember and then it becomes the officer giving instructions um, but, but basically communicating expressing you know speaking out and then we have the fifth one here which is vision the eye the five remember the eye seeing the vision the light and then the observer you know, you know, observing. I don't mean observing and disconnected. Observing and participating. I think you've got to be observer as part of the perfectionist. This is total functioning. And then we have the sense from the movement of the fluid as the wave. We get the pressure wave, which creates a sense of touch. You know, the surface tension, and then the personality. Then is the gentleman. So it's our sensitivity and our ability to adapt to the situations the gentlemen then we have the endurance of that pressure this is the endurance of the line creates the sense there's a screen there the endurance of the space of the wave creates a sound the endurance of the pressure map creates the object and that object goes straight to the mouth and is identified by taste and that becomes a scholar. You know, you've got a different taste. You know, the value of different things with full expression. Then we've got the heat sensitivity. 
remember this is number eight, the flame, the heat sensitivity, and the hunter, the questioning, you know, the, 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 the seeking things out, which can be fuel here, or it can be seeking the object, all of which goes down, remember, to construct the position. And here we have the posture and the actor. So there's a full range of postures and actors, of full range of postures for martial arts or for drama. So there's different levels of acting here, remember. It's a full range of action. So it's not just being an actor. It can be like, you know, martial arts, so they say, or, or any sort any functioning and the posture necessary. So there's a full function, a full inward and outward flow uh, of the dark energy in our bodies and in our society.